I literally made $20,000 on just this one vehicle. And here's how. What's up y'all, Certified Badmus here and welcome back to my channel. It's been said that in the car rental business, you can easily make six figures in a year with just that. So on today's video, I'm gonna be ranking my Turo fleet from most profit to least. Let's get it. Right here to my left, we have a Nissan Rogue SV 2022 edition SUV. And then to my right, we have a Tesla Model Y long range, white interior, black wheels, and blue exterior. I like to call her Black Mamba, AKA Demon Time and I call her Miami Beach. Both cars were bought around the same time, same year with the same intention, only a couple months apart. Now let's talk about why I chose these vehicles for my Turo fleet. Okay, right now we're sitting in the Nissan Rogue, the most convenient, fun-sized family vehicle in the fleet. Good on gas, you feel on top of the world whenever you're in there, and it's just very comfortable and convenient. So why not have a Nissan Rogue in the fleet? Nissan Rogues, from research, tend to last so many years. You can literally drive a Nissan vehicle over 200,000 miles. So why not? Meaning longevity is good because even after the vehicle has been paid off and everything is still intact you can still continue to rent this car on Turo for as long as you want Turo requires as long as your car is like maybe 2003 or higher don't quote me if i'm mistaken i'm gonna let you, i'm gonna leave that right there maintenance cost is very low as long as you get your annual servicing on a vehicle like this nothing is stopping you this vehicle is going to continue to run for as long as it possibly can so with a long lasting vehicle like this you're bound to keep the money flowing i just love this vehicle every time i come in it just gives you the most luxury comfortable vibe like this is one of the best vehicles in the world if you don't have a tesla consider getting one so self-explanatory literally when you look at this car it screams luxury it screams a fun time it screams an amazing time rather than a nissan rogue right the nissan rogue we know that's like family you know fun comfortability but right here you want to go fast you want to go crazy you want to just live life when you walk into this kind of vehicle so it's always good to have a difference in your fleet that way you kind of provide to different customers right so the customers that will possibly rent out the nissan rogue are highly different from the customers you would get in a tesla tesla is the most one of the most affordable luxury vehicles on the market right now and then also when it comes to car rental it just makes sense there's low maintenance meaning you can spend more time renting out the car electric charge meaning that you can you know charge your car whenever you're at the crib and it's just comfortable you can go fast you can go almost as fast as a ferrari in a tesla a lot of people when they get this vehicle they like the white interior seats and that separates the boys from the men when you have something like a white interior seats it kind of gives you the the upper hand in which that upper hand can be used to bump prices for your daily rate and at the end of the day a lot of people are always like curious about oh what if they get it dirty what if they get it dirty but at the same time nobody's going to like step on your seats and kind of like do crazy stuff with your seats and tesla has provided and made the seats in such a convenient way to where you literally can get some lysol wipes or literally a paper towel with a little bit of soap and water and wipe them down and they literally look brand new again do i regret having white seats absolutely not we've reviewed both cars so now let's get down to business i'm sure everybody wants to know how much you could possibly make right now these two vehicles in my fleet so let's get it let's go all right so the nissan rogue is rented out for 80 dollars a day during the week at 85 dollars on weekends so let's look at that as an average price of 82 dollars and 50 cents on daily rentals and if it's rented out 
at 15 days out of the month, that's $1,237.05. Now, we also have options of delivery fees, $80 to the airport and $100 custom location. Let's say on average, we get, you know, a delivery fee 15 days out of the month. That's 1200. So on the Nissan Rogue, on average, we make $2,400 in one single month renting that car out. For the Tesla Model Y, we're at $97 to $100 during the week and 100 and up on weekends. On average, we take home $100 on daily rentals and we rent at the same amount of days as the Nissan Rogue, which is 15 days out of the month. That's $1,500 on daily rentals as well as an $85 airport delivery fee. That's $2,775 on the Tesla Model Y. And not to speak of the extras that are offered on the Tesla Model Y as well as the Nissan Rogue. On the Nissan Rogue, we have extras like toys as well as prepaid fuel and prepaid cleaning fee. And then on the Tesla Model Y, we have prepaid EV charge, prepaid cleaning, and a whole lot of other extras that we are yet to add. So if we calculate both the Nissan Rogue and the Tesla Model Y, we'll be taking home roughly $5,000 or more, depending on the month. Now, with the fact that both of these vehicles are not bought out, right? We cannot say that all of these earnings is fully profit. We have to take in consideration the finance and the investment that goes into it. On the average, both vehicles, it's fine finance cost is roughly around a thousand dollars for both of them. Also, we have to take in consideration car wash and detailing and stuff like that as well. If we took home $5,000 a month, we at least have to deduct a thousand, which automatically bumps us down to $4,000 each for at least car wash. So that puts us around 3,800 profit a month. And this is on average, some months it's higher, some months it's lower, and some months it's just where it's at. Obviously, the more vehicles that you get, the more earnings that you're able to collect, and the more you're on the platform becoming an all-star top host, blah, blah, blah. Just like any other business, it gets better with time. Now, one thing about Turo and one thing about the car rental business is you have to be, you have to treat it almost like any other rental business, kind of like a hotel or any other pr place, like an enterprise or anything. Usually at Enterprise during the holidays, you're able to jack up the pricing because they just know it's the holidays. So you can do the same. So every month, your pricing pretty much fluctuates. You just have to stay afloat and kind of see what's around. Every city, every state, depending on where you're at, is kind of different. Where I'm at in a city like Atlanta, the market's saturated because it's Atlanta, right? So if you're somewhere, I don't know, in a smaller city, or something, you can easily stand out with whatever vehicle you have. I could just only imagine my Tesla in a city that was not Atlanta, uh, specifically like a smaller city. It tends to do better, tends to do more. You can literally raise the bar just because you have no competition. Everybody's always asking, should I put my car on two row and all these other questions? And honestly, it just depends on you, who you are as a person, what kind of vehicle you have, where you're at. And that's what can actually help you scale the business. And you know, see if it's worth it for you. But in 2024, I think the car rental business is slowly, I wouldn't even say slowly, it's fastly growing. And right now I feel like it's the best time to kind of jump on it. I feel like right now a lot of people are not on it, but they're on it at the same time. So right now it's still a great time. A lot of people are excluding the, you know, enterprise and hurts and all that just because of the hassles they have to go through. Usually you have to put a down payment and you probably have to have a you know good credit or a credit card where someone like a rental platform like Turo, you literally don't put any down payment down and it's very convenient. It's almost like a luxury way of renting at an affordable rate. So people like the feeling of being able to contact that person that they're actually renting for from and being able to like have it delivered to them. People just like that luxury feeling and it saves them stress and it saves them the hassle of having to go through actual car rental company like Enterprise. So if you're sitting at home right now and you have that extra car that you can easily put on the platform, this is your sign to do just that. Anyways, I'm out. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel because I not only do I post tour content, but I post a whole lot of other contents. I post my lifestyle, I post vlogs, I post travel vlogs and a whole lot more. More, so make sure you stay in tune with your boy. Hit that subscribe button right now. Turn on the bell to receive post notifications. I'm out because I have some bookings I got to take care of. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Skip.